welcome back to my channel guys next in food if you're new to the channel i'd like to welcome you i am your diva chef simone walker barrett don't forget to subscribe like share leave a comment down below today's tutorial is all about sorrel now sorrel is related to the hibiscus flowers but sorrel is beloved by every jamaican we normally use it to make drink especially at christmas time however these days you can have the sorrel drink all year round but it's christmas time in jamaica and we're having a sorrel buzz and today i'm excited to show you how to make a sorrel cake now sorrel cake is not new to me. I first made this years ago when I was in high school in the 4-H club. I even entered it in the JCDC Festival of Foods and won a gold medal. So this is a gold medal recipe. So stay tuned and let me show you how to make sorrel cake. Okay guys, so for your sorrel cake, first you're going to need some fresh sorrel. Uh, this is a pound of sorrel. This is what it looks like when it is fresh. Um, this was actually in my freezer, so I freeze it fresh, okay? So you need a food processor, and in the food processor, I want you to carefully put one pound of sorrel floret. Okay, don't worry if it tries to fall out, you just get it in. So in goes, and I'm doing this in two parts, and then you want to close your food processor. Just like that, we want to chop it coarse. I want to show you what it looks like after it is chopped. See that? This is what we're looking for, nice big chopped pieces, okay? So we're blending the final amount of the sorrel. This recipe takes a total of one pound of fresh sorrel floret. It doesn't matter if you're if they're frozen like me, like the ones I'm using, they were once fresh. And I'm also going to add one cup of soak fruits. This is a combination of currant, raisins, and um, prunes. So that goes in. And then we're just going to cover and give it a zap. Now guys, I prefer the food processor for this because it leaves it chunky. I like it chunky. If you don't like the chunky pieces of sorrel and fruits, you could put it into your blender. But note, a blender needs liquid. So if you're going to put it in your blender, you would have to blend it or puree it in the blender with about two cups of wine or a cup of rum and a cup of wine. It depends on how much alcohol you want in the cake. Okay, so this ends the process part. And now I am going to actually cook the sorrel halfway with some sugar and spices okay guys so we're gonna cook our sorrel halfway we're just gonna cook it for five minutes so this is our chopped sorrel one pound of chopped sorrel i'm going to add a half of the sugar um cooking the sorrel first is totally optional totally optional but i find that it softens it especially if you don't want the chunky pieces in your cake i actually do this two ways it would have cooked in the baking process anyhow but um my kids prefer it when i cook it on top of the stove first so if you had watched the live, you would have seen me just make the cake without cooking the sorrel first. So now I am adding the spices directly in the pot. I just added cinnamon, one teaspoon cinnamon. And now I'm adding a tablespoon of freshly grated nutmeg, half teaspoon of salt. And this is a special spice. This is anise, um, star anise to be exact. I ground it in uh, my little grounder. It's very strong, so I'm only adding half of a teaspoon. 
Now you don't have to add any liquid to this because the sugar is going to melt and just softens the fibers. And this is going to just cook, stirring occasionally for five to 10 minutes. I'll show you what it looks like after 10 minutes. Okay guys, our sorrel has been cooking for 10 minutes and this is what it looks like. I am going to remove it and allow it to cool before we put it into our cake. Guys, the sorrel is now cool. This is what it looks like after cooking and cooling. So now I am going to add half cup of wine and rum. I had my wine and rum combined in one um, cup. So I'm just adding that in. I am also going to add some red food coloring. This is totally optional. Um, I'm just doing it because some guys asked me to do it this way. I usually just add some browning in mine. So I'm adding the red food coloring for those who want their sorrel cake to have a, a red velvet appearance. You add food coloring. I'm also going to add some strawberry flavoring. And by adding, I'm adding basically a tablespoon of both the coloring and the flavoring. I am also going to add a tablespoon of lime juice. Lemon juice is just fine if you don't have lime. And so doesn't this remind you of, you know, raisin? So this is... 98% sorrel and 2% mixed fruits. I will add some vanilla as well. And finally, we're adding some rose water. So this part of the cake is ready. I'm going to set it aside. And now in the mixer, we're going to add our butter, the remaining sugar and eggs. Now it's time for us to combine our butter, sugar and eggs. So in the mixer, straight from the package, I am adding eight ounces of butter. Uh, you can use a combination of butter and margarine. You can use margarine only if that's what you have. You can also use shortening, okay? But I'm using butter today. And then I'm adding the remainder of my sugar. So this recipe takes a total of one pound of sugar. I use half a pound to stew the um, sorrel and then I'm adding the remaining half pound in with the butter. I'm adding four large eggs as well and a tablespoon of freshly grated ginger. Now I'm going to close the mixer and then on medium speed, we're going to mix this until everything is combined for five minutes. So guys, now that our egg, sugar and butter is all mixed together, I'm going to add half cup of sour cream. I like the flavor that the sour cream gives. So this is what the sour cream looks like. You can just pick it up in your favorite supermarket. And I'm also adding half cup of rum cream. Okay, so in goes my rum cream. Just pour it in. And then we're gonna close the mixer and just continue to, to mix on low speed. Now we're going to combine one pound of baking flour. If you can't find baking flour at your supermarket, you can use all purpose flour. To our flour, I am adding one tablespoon of baking powder and two teaspoons of baking soda. The baking soda will give your cake a second rise. So I always use baking soda in my cake because
it lightens the cake and I want it to be more cake-like and not like a pudding. So I'm using a whisk and we're going to just combine this. You wanna make sure to combine your dry ingredients. You can do so by sifting or using a whisk. Now it's time to put our cake together. So now our butter, sugar and egg mixture is ready. Now I'm gonna turn the mixer back on and make sure the mixer is closed and I'm gonna slowly add in the flour. So what I'm doing, I'm going to add half flour and then once I mix in half of the flour, I am going to add our sorrel in. Time to add the sorrel in. So we're adding half of the sorrel and close the mixer. Please pay attention to the recipe. how nice and red that is. That is a combination of the natural red color from the sorrel and also that extra food coloring. Now is a good time to add the remaining flour. While the mixer is running, you add your flour in on low. Now if you don't have a stand mixer, go right ahead and do it by hand. want to make sure it is totally mixed in. I'm going to stop the mixer and scrape the sides down. Just get everything mixed in. So just use your spatula and scrape everything together. Get the bottom mixed in. And then finally, I'm going to be adding the remainder of sorrel just like this again I added the red coloring because you guys asked so this tutorial is for you guys I usually just add some browning so if you don't want red food coloring the browning will do just fine but you will not get the red color So it's time now to remove our cake batter from the mixer and add it into our baking pans. I am using two baking pans for this amount. This can actually give you three or four six inch um, round baking pan, but I'm using bigger pans. So let's see how much. We just remove this, just carefully remove the paddle and get all the batter off. Just get your hand in there, get it off. All right, so I'm gonna pour this into our cake pans. The cake pans were greased and then we're gonna bake at 350 for 45 minutes to an hour. Okay, so we're pouring the cake batter into our cake pans. And this one gave me three cakes. So I have one eight inch, one six inch, and one nine inch. All right, you wanna just get everything out. And again, the red color is from the addition of food coloring. So this is a taste test. These are going to bake. So these are the cakes that we got. These are going to bake at 350 for 40 minutes to an hour. So I will show you what they look like after 40 minutes. So in the oven, 350. I'm gonna put two on the bottom shelf and one on the top shelf. So come back. Just test the 
rest in the cake guys all right so we have been baking for 30 minutes they're not ready so we're gonna let them bake some more so guys our sorrel cake is finally baked and out of the oven it has been out for about 10 minutes it baked at 350 and it took one hour uh, so please watch it when you're trying to bake if your oven is a little bit faster it might bake in the 40 minutes that was recommended so this is what it looks like now i am going to just turn it out on a plate uh, remember i said that i had it cooling for 10 minutes and this is what the finished cake look like i do hope you find this tutorial informative I am your diva chef, Simone Walker Barrett. I thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe, like, and share the video with somebody who you think would want to see this tutorial. Leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. And I'll see you next time with another simple and easy recipe to make at home. Take care.